Now I was watching a video update on Dirk's channel, RC Birds, and he's going in for this um, Halloween competition, and it's um, to convert uh, one of your RC cars into a Halloween themed body. So I thought oh, I like the sound of that. So I had a look at the video of the guy who's uh, put this up, and the channel is. I hope I pronounce this right, but I'll put it up in writing as well. Um, um, Prizel Tatsi or Taze is it? RC. So, but like I said, I've put it up in words. Now I'm lucky because um, I build a lot. Um, I didn't want to vandalise a good body or a body I've already done one, but uh, there's always one chassis I do carry bodies for which I'm running out rapidly I'll be truthful I haven't got as many as I used to and so I thought I'm gonna do an open top buggy like this um, so what I'm gonna do do is is like use this as a design because I know the measurements of how much I can fit in and everything and how deep the rear panel that the, here that will save me a lot of work hopefully in construction time I should say well there it is one brand new body like I said I've only got one more of these left which is a shame let's go a bit wider now where I'm going to cut the top off again and I'll put the innards in um, I needed, uh, I thought, sort of for the uh, backrest for the figure, hopefully this is not too big, if not I'll have to remake it, was a tombstone. But the only thing is I couldn't remove that. <laughs> so it won't be seen, that'll be hidden because it'll be like back against the bulkhead, rear bulkhead. And then for a driver I found this two parts somebody put together it's a uh, can you see that it's a jack-o-lantern and it had a, a hat a witch's hat but I thought it looked quite good with the hat so I've got to work on this to get it to fit together well it's not too bad at the moment but I think that looks will look quite good all painted up so that's the start um, so the main thing is let's chop it down and get the base interior in and then we can decide how it's going to be done because I'm go I've got to make a body and uh, hopefully I've got stuff in here I can use but um, we'll see well the cockpit area is done the tombstone fits in okay I want it to be tall now I've got to work out this figure I've mounted his head on a tube gonna let that dry and then decide from there how to build him. I just don't know at the moment. I thought I had some pipe cleaners but I can't find them which is very annoying because they would have been probably quite a good thing to use for uh, the white sort of uh, the bodywork. Oh well I'll think of something. Well I've made a rough armature type body out of um, plastic tube pipe cleaners and uh, that's the stage I, I'm at now. Now I've got to try and cover it, cover him and make him look like something. Um, only problem is I found out I'm nearly out of super glue. I'm on my last tube and I'm going through a lot of it. But we'll see. Just got to think about how to do it now. I've got room behind to allow it to build over. But I'll probably start with the legs first to get them done. And build the, t the jacket part afterwards. Well, there he is so far. There you go, he's clad in fab foam to look like an outfit as well. Give him some cuffs. So almost there. Well with the figure. A lot more else to do. Now I've got a little bit more done. Um, 
the uh, dashboard I've added a little section with a couple of buttons and I've printed off a cross and converted it into an angle shifter. It's a bit hard to see at the moment because it's not painted out up or anything. Um, get the general idea? That's what it'll be like. And uh, I've printed off a skull earring I've used before. It's got to be filled, sanded, that's just screwed onto the front. Um, and now I'm working on for something for the back, some posts and chain, but uh, we will get to that. There we go, the obelisk with chains are on the back. There we go. All I've got to do is find something to fit in between. Don't know yet, but it's got to fit in that area. But, um, Sorry, that area, I'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, so try when you're building, things don't always come straight away what to use. But we're getting there, and it's also what to add to the sides. I've got no idea. Now with the uh, build off for the uh, Halloween, um, I found some bones from uh, another project where I used the skull. So I've put some moat round. Um, I made a zomb printed a zombie head and a, a cat as well, which has highlighted bones. Um, a steering wheel came off of uh, axial spares, but it looks quite good. And the hands were from a, a thing where I tried the first time they were to come out too large because I had to reduce them, but there was like two hands together made for a cat to make it look like it's got little hands. And I shrunk it down again and they work perfectly, they're about the right size for the big figure. I'm at the stage of painting, I'm half sprayed the body at the moment because it's easier to spray one end at a time. I've got just some car matte black over car matte primer, uh, sorry grey primer. Um, it's going to be completely black to start with. Um, the zombie head. Uh, where I screwed and now glued around uh, just some uh, sea salt. They should paint up nice as earth over sort of a grassy sort of ish area. Well, sort of a patch it. Well, I don't know yet. We'll see. It's whatever comes to mind when I'm painting it. Um, lots of the other stuff is going into primer now for paint. And we'll go from there, see what I think it looks like. There we go, I've painted up the zombie and sort of dust it, sort of splodged around the paint to sort of uh, match it in a little bit. Now I'm going to try and do something with misting on the side to make it look misty. Let's hope for the best. There we go, the driver's all finished and painted up. Hope he looks okay. Just got a few other bits to finish and the main part of the build is done. Um, I'll put it all on and then it will be other little bits just added when I think of them. But let's get all the last of this part done. Here we are. My build for the Halloween build off is done. There you go. I added some bats down each side. And that's what it's going to look like. Like I said, starting off at the back we've got some Again, tombstone, zombie, some bones, a cat, and then we've got the, like I said, the jack o' lantern driver figure for all these little bits with his uh, cross gear, gear change. The, uh, I think it's Gizzo the spider, it's called, and then just a skull emblem on the tip, on the front of the car, like a, a motorist would have in my opinion uh, like I said it's a little bit different down this side the bats are slightly different positions but like I said they were only they were 3d printed the bats the skull was an earring 3d printed this was a 3d print the head 3d printed um, um, I think it's Clive the zombie and these posts 3d printed the cat um, the bones was left over from something else I brought, so I thought I might as well use them up. Um, and everything else, oh, we've 3D printed the backrest, which is um, a gravestone. Uh, but literally, 
um, the conversion of the body shot was all hand done and that. But this is my entry for the Halloween build up build off and I hope you like it.